talk to me about um, your relationship with Michael Jackson when you guys were coming up and when you were in the Osmonds and he was in the Jackson five and then you all performed together. Um, well, no, we never uh, did perform together. You never performed together. Interesting story, Andy. Um, the only time that we were seen together in public in a professional way, uh, Dick Clark said, I'm starting a show called the American music awards. Okay. And Donnie, I want you and Michael to be the presenters. Okay. And uh, I said, yeah, I'd love to. And Michael said, sure, let's do it. So I remember everybody was just kind of like, Michael and Donnie are at the same mic. It's so cool. And uh, so after it was all over, Mike and I are backstage. And I turned to him and said, hey, Mike, you hungry? He said, yeah, I'm hungry. What do you want to do? And uh, I said, follow me so we went and we got into my limousine and it was just the two of us and we went to jack in the box and we bought these tacos and this limousine had a, a moon roof and so we got the tacos we were driving down sunset boulevard opened the moon roof and the two of us uh are sticking our heads out eating tacos laughing our heads off and at the time it was just like yeah this is kind of cool but in retrospect it was myself and Michael being kids in a limousine driving down Sunset Boulevard eating tacos together and having the time of our lives that's wow. the Michael I want to remember because I had such a great relationship with him and because it had nothing to do with show business yeah it was the fact that the both of us were the seventh child of nine mm. uh we were about the wow. same age just six months apart our mother's birthdays are on the same day wow. we started show business around the wow. same time Wow, they he came from a group of five, and Jermaine was the middleman of the of the five. I came from, from a group of five, and Meryl was the middleman of the five. And wow, it, I mean, it keeps going on and on and on. It's just uncanny. did you we, what? You know, what was the last? What was the last time you guys were in touch? Do you remember that? It's kind of a sad story, um, and I'll make it quick. But I was on tour, and my phone rings. And I said, what Hello. year is this around? What would you say? I think it's like a, about a year before he passed away. Oh, wow. Okay. About a year. And uh, <clears throat> the phone rang and I said, Hello. And he said, Tony. I said, Hello. He said, Tony. Hi, it's Michael. I said, Mike, what are you doing? He said, I just want to call, say hi. I said, hey, Where are you? And he says, I can't tell you. And Mike, you're talking to me here. Come on, where are you? Yeah, yeah, right. And he said, please don't tell anyone, but I'm in Phoenix. I, I rented a tour bus and I got my kids with me. I had to get out of LA and just mm. escape the uh, the ridicule and, 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 and everything that's, that's going down right now. And so we talked for a minute and I said, look, Mike, I'm done with my tour this weekend. I'll be home. You're a nine hour drive from my house. Get your kids come up to my place. Nobody will know you're there. Kids can go swimming with my kids. I'll bring you a little normalcy to your life. And yeah. he said, I really need that right now. Oh. He never took me up on it. And that was the last time I talked to him. Wow. 